Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make a weaving painting. What you need is you're going to need two pieces of white cardstock, you will need a pencil, you will need a pair of scissors, you will need paint in whichever colors you would like, you will need some paint brushes, and you will need something to put your paint on. I'm just using some folded up cardstock. Now the first thing you're going to do is you're going to draw the exact same design on both pieces of your white cardstock and you're going to want to put them in the exact same place. So I actually cut out a shape of a heart so I know that my heart is identical on either sheet of paper but you can always freehand and you can pick whatever shape or design that you would like to put on your paper. Um, the simpler it is the better it's going to turn out. If it has too much detail you're going to lose the image when you weave the two pictures together. So you want to do something that's simpler so I'm just going to do a heart but you could decide what you would like to do and then I'm going to trace that heart in the middle of both pieces of paper. I'm going to make sure I'm going to get them as close to the same spot as I can. So now I have hearts on either of my pieces of paper and now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paint them the exact same way on both sheets. So whatever colors I use on the heart on one sheet I'm going to use it on the same and then same thing for the background. Once again you're going to want to use simpler design and simpler colors so I have different shades of purple and then different shades of blue so I'm going to make my heart two different shades of purple and I'm going to make the outside two different shades of blue. So you're going to pick one color for the inside and one for the outside and then you can use some different shades. If you use too many colors you're going to lose the picture and the design when you put the paintings together. So as you can see, I colored my two hearts, I painted them so that they're pretty much identical, and now I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to the outside. And I'm actually going to grab a sheet of paper to put underneath this as I paint so that I don't get any paint on my workspace. And then once you're done with both of your paintings, you're going to just let them dry completely. So once your paintings are completely dry, you're going to get ready to cut your paintings up. So you can just try and guess and cut these into one inch strips, but I'm going to actually use a ruler to measure. Now you're going to cut one of your sheets vertical. So you're going to cut strips that are vertical and you're going to cut them so they're each one inch wide. And then the other one, you're going to cut your strips so that they are horizontal. So one sheet will be vertical and one sheet will be horizontal, but they will all be one inch wide. So I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to measure one inch across the top so I know where to cut my strips of paper. And then once I've done that, I'm going to do the same thing with my other sheet, except this time I'm going to mark it on the side so that I can cut horizontal strips. And then once I've marked them, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut the strips of paper. Now as you're cutting your strips of paper, make sure you remember which order you cut them in so that when you weave the paintings together, it comes out the right way. So when you're cutting them, you don't want to let them just fall into a pile. You want to make sure you know how they line up so you could make the picture with the strips of paper. So 
So now I have all my pieces cut out and ready to go. Now I'm going to get a glue stick. You don't have to use a glue stick, but I find a glue stick helps to keep the pieces together and I'm going to get ready to weave my two paintings together. Now I'm going to start with my bottom piece from my horizontal cutout picture. And I'm going to take that bottom piece and I'm going to weave it. So I'm going to go under the first strip over the second, under the third, over the fourth, and then I'm going to go under the fifth, over the sixth, under the seventh, over the eighth. And as you can see, this can be a little bit tricky, so you're just going to want to take your time and slowly weave through the painting. So then you go over and under, over and under. Then you're going to want to fix it so that it's all across the bottom. And then once you have that, I like to glue the two ends in place to help hold the picture together. And then since this is actually the first strip that I did, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add glue all along the edges just to make sure I secure it in place. It's going to make it a lot easier as I go in and I start weaving the other pieces. Again, this is optional, but it's going to hold together much better when you glue it together. So now I have my first piece attached and I'm going to take the second piece from the bottom of this picture and I'm going to do the opposite. So this time I'm going to start over since I started under and I'm going to go over and under. Now I find it actually helps to do it at the top and then gently push it down so that it's a little bit easier to weave that way and then once you've gotten it all the way across you'll just gently push it down to touch the bottom. So as you can see, I wove it all the way through and then I'm going to just gently push it down to the bottom. And then you can go and you can secure the ends with some glue. And then you're going to go ahead and you're going to go through and you're going to do that to all of the pieces. Again, this can be a little bit tricky and you're going to want to take your time and just go through it slowly and use the glue to help secure pieces to make it a little bit easier. So just keep going, you're going to keep going under, over, over, under, and then when you get to that last row, you're going to want to also go ahead and glue all those ends down so that it holds the picture nice and secure. And then when you're all done, you'll have your finished picture, and as you can see, I have a heart in the middle. It's not always going to line up exactly perfectly, but you could still see that you can still see the heart, and you see I have the purple heart with the blue outline, and then that's how you make a weaving painting.